नमस्ते आई एम दीपाली ओहरी एंड इन माई किचन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक एगलेस एप्पल क्रम्बल केक दिस एप्पल क्रम्बल केक इज मेड विद अ बटरी केक दैट इज फिल्ड विद फ्रेश चॉप्ड एप्पल्स एंड टॉप्ड विद क्रम्बल टॉपिंग अ परफेक्ट ऑटम विंटर केक फॉर ऑल द एप्पल सिनेमन लवर्स दिस इज अ परफेक्ट केक फॉर कोल्ड मंथ वेन यू आर क्रेविंग अ वॉम डिजर्ट विद योर हॉट कॉफी और टी and also we need simple ingredients for this cake which can be found in every kitchen or grocery store so let's get started so before we start whisking and baking let's see what all ingredients we require for this recipe for caramelized apples we need 4 to 5 apples 100 grams of sugar 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder 2 tablespoons of lemon juice and half teaspoon salt For crumble we need 2 tablespoons of butter, 1 by 3 cup of cake flour, 6 and a half tablespoons of almond flour, 3 tablespoons sugar, 1/2 teaspoon cinnamon powder and 1 by 4 teaspoon of salt. For cake we need 1 and a half cups of cake flour, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, 1/2 teaspoon of baking soda, 1 by 4 teaspoon of salt, 1/2 cup butter, 1/2 cup sugar. Half cup yogurt, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of milk. Begin by washing and peeling your apples, and then cutting them into chunks. Opt for the medium-sized pieces, keeping in mind that the apples will significantly shrink during the cooking process. Now place the apple chunks in a saucepan. Add sugar, cinnamon powder, pinch of salt and lemon juice. Cook the apples over medium heat ensuring All ingredients are thoroughly mixed. Stir occasionally as apples release juices. So continue cooking until the juices thicken, the volume reduces and the apples caramelize. See the apples will visibly shrink during this process. Now allow the caramelized apples to cool for a few minutes. You can refrigerate if you need it, otherwise you can keep it on your kitchen counter. So let's start preparing our crumble. In a food processor, combine your flour, all-purpose flour and almond flour, sugar, cinnamon powder and salt. Now pulse briefly for a quick mix. So once this is mixed, we are going to add butter into this. So add butter and pulse until a crumbly texture is achieved. Now be cautious not to over pulse, preventing it from forming a clump. So you can refrigerate also this crumble mixture if required otherwise if you are at a cold place you can keep it on your kitchen counter. So let's start preparing our cake now. First of all preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius and now let us sift our dry ingredients. So here goes the all purpose flour, the baking powder, baking soda, some salt. Now sift all of these together okay once they are sifted you can also use your wire whisk to mix them properly and now in a large bowl i'm going to cream 
butter and sugar so butter and here goes the sugar so first i will use my rubber spatula to mix this and once it is properly mixed i'm going to use my hand mixer to cream this butter and sugar together now cream together these two until the mixture becomes creamy fluffy and pale this should take around 4 to 5 minutes and do not forget to scrape the bowl occasionally now incorporate yogurt or curd whatever you are using into the mixture along with some vanilla extract and despite a curdled appearance continue mixing until well combined do not worry if you find your batter to be curdled it's normal once we'll add the dry ingredients everything will be fine okay now we are going to add dry ingredients in two batches Remember to fold it gently with a spatula to avoid overmixing. Now if you find your batter thick, you can add 2 tablespoons of milk. But add 1 tablespoon at a time okay now fold until fully combined so i've used uh, here 2 tablespoons of milk okay the batter is ready now now is the time to take our pan and fill it with the batter so i'm using an 8 inch uh, cake pan but i would uh, suggest you to go for a 7 inch pan because the layers will be visible in a better way in 7 inch pan so grease and line it with parchment paper in the same way that i've lined it here and now put half of the batter into the pan spread it evenly and now evenly distribute half of the caramelized apples over the batter Okay, add the remaining batter. Again, spread it evenly, especially towards the edges, and now top with the rest of the caramelized apples. So once this is done we are going to place our final layer that is the crumble topping now sprinkle the crumble evenly over the top okay so now bake it in a preheated oven for about uh, 50 to 60 minutes or until a skewer inserted comes out clean Okay so into the oven it goes So once the cake is baked take it out and let it cool on a wire rack for some time and once it is cool we'll come back and demold it So our cake seems cooler now let me demold the cake and show you how it looks like So here is a ready cake So now the cake is ready to be sliced and served. Let me cut this and show you how it looks like from inside. See, now this easy apple crumble cake comes out together so easily. It's a super easy to make and it looks beautiful and tastes yummy. So let me just taste this for you. It's 
so this cake is moist deliciously spiced and this has turned out amazing the crumb topping is perfect not hard not very soft and this could be enjoyed with your chai with your green tea or coffee so thank you so much for joining us today if you enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more sweet inspirations and of course share your thoughts and requests in the comment section below so until next time take good care of yourself and happy baking Thank you.